Spectrum Radio. In the half-hour headlines, right about six minutes ago, you would have heard me talking about homes and a couple of things in the news. The number of people getting on board the property ladder last year, in the last 12 months, is more than any year since 2007. Woohoo, sounds great, doesn't it? But also, this bit, this quirky bit of info. If you're prepared to live at number 13 on your road, it's claimed you could save £9,000 on the cost. Now, I certainly would. Wouldn't bother me. Superstitions pushing the house price down for number 13. It's a bit, bit quirky, of course. But what if you're already in a house and you've heard those stories and say, yeah, Jerry, boring. I've already got myself on the property ladder. I'm already in a home. Well, I'm going to talk to Kate watson Smythe right now, blogger, renovation expert and journalist. Kate, good morning to you. Morning. Uh, and There's plenty of people already on the property ladder who are probably ignoring that, that bit of news this morning. And we want to talk about them because with the new year taking over and we're into January, There are all sorts of home improvements that people have got planned. And you've got some kind of research today telling us basically what we've got planned, haven't you? Well, Pilkington Glass have done a survey of a thousand people. And this, it looks set to be the year of don't move, improve. So I think that's often the case when economic times are difficult. And people are looking at what they can do to make their houses better, maybe spend the money they saved on moving into number 13. Um, And one of the key things that's coming is bringing in obviously more light and more space and that tends to happen around the kitchen area to bring the outdoors in a bit and blend the two spaces. Kate I'm just going to ask you it seems like every year we want more light more glass don't we are we just getting more and more modern with that feel? I think it's partly to do with modernity. I think it's partly, there's been a lot of technological improvements in glass now. So whereas in those old Victorian houses, the glass was very drafty, it was bad windows, glass can be as good as bricks now. So it's much easier to bring in the light and bring in bigger pieces of glass, which are really thermally efficient. So it's easier to do. Now, how many people are renovating then? Tell me this, because I know in my neighbourhoods, you know, you wouldn't expect it, but the scaffolding up on like 40% of the houses. There's there's always a sign, isn't there? They say when the net curtains go and the scaffolding comes up. So I think two thirds of people have apparently done home improvements in the last five years. Um, so we're, we're all at it, really, in mostly in our kitchens, um, but all over the house. And tell me this one then. Okay, you're a renovation expert. Obviously, you believe in renovation. Is there a, is there a line, Kate, where you think, no, I'll just move? <laughs> this, you know what I mean? I, I, I think it just depends if you can find the right house. People, we, an Englishman's home is his castle. We're very attached to our houses. And I think if it's possible to improve, then we would rather do that. Maybe we like the neighbourhood. We like most of the house, but we could just tweak one room or something. Then probably we would prefer to improve it rather than go through the upheaval of moving. And I'm going to ask you this one. You know, as England struggles with its light, I'm looking outside my window this morning. It's still basically dark out there here in Battersea. And um, Kate, is light the answer and using glass the answer to get well free light as much as we can? Is, is that what people are after? I think that's absolutely it. And yeah, there's a yeah. massive trend at the moment coming from Scandinavia um, for all things in paint colours and how we look in our houses. They have long, dark winters. They have big windows. They don't have curtains because they've got proper glass in their windows. Windows, so they just have blinds, bring in more light. It makes us feel better to see the outside, see the sun when we have it. And I think you've hit the nail on the head saying the Scandinavians, we complain about the lack of light and they get like one hour a day at times, don't they? Yeah. Of the light, yeah. Okay, Kate watson Smythe, blogger, renovation expert and journalist. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Kate. Uh, new year, new home, top improvements. Apparently it's all about the glass. As you would expect, really, wouldn't you? Um, as I say, on my street, plenty of people putting up the scaffolding and I've got big windows, right? I know this sounds pretty boring. I've got big windows in my loft conversion. Sound pretty posh there, don't I? Don't. It's not very classy. But because the scaffolding's going up, my ability to walk around in the uh, in the lack of clothing that I wanted to or used to has seriously been diminished. It's really annoying. Uh, got a couple of messages for you right now. You.